What's up everybody, I'm back with another tool deals video and we are looking at another thermal imaging camera. This one also is pistol grip like the FLIR, but substantially cheaper. And we are going to put this one to the test. We're going to test this one out and see how it compares to the FLIR, how it compares to the Top Don. Let's get on with the show. So first up, the, the brand is Kai Wheats. This is their KTI W01 pistol grip. And it has pretty much the same specs as the FLIR and the Top Don. I just wanted to open this up, show you guys what it's looking like. A little unboxing here before I get to charging it. Now there does seem to be some heavy duty stuff inside this. Must be a nice manual. Now that's the thing with the FLIR. The FLIR didn't have much in terms of a manual and neither really did the top down but this is in a lot of different languages and also has a i can already tell you way more much more comprehensive user manual going back to the inside of the box let's check things out over here we have a cable obviously a charge cable and a power brick something a lot of these units aren't coming with anymore so you have that slow charger here and now we have the unit itself in a nice sturdy softish case let's go open this up now as far as cases go i actually prefer the FLIR case over this because the FLIR case should go over your shoulder um you know it's easier to carry along this you can carry your hand but again the FLIR had a whole situation where you can throw it over your shoulder but I do like how this has the extra onboard storage like the top down so put that stuff in there but I'm about to charge this up so we can play around with it tomorrow and uh, let's go ahead and pull this out this is a little challenging that thing was in there good now you'll see notice that this is way bigger than the FLIR I and it also has a lens cap here to protect the lens which i like i was concerned about that with the FLIR wondering like what happens if this thing gets scratched up and we have a much bigger display and i'm also feeling that so hopefully the contrast is good we'll find out in the morning all right now we're looking at the kai wheats uh, the screen is not showing up very great on the cell phone uh in in person in real life this thing looks way different it's a lot more detail on through the cell phone it's showing up on my end hopefully it's showing up different for you guys more of a black and white but i wanted to just talk about a couple things first off it is way more detail the screen is bigger so it can fit more details so as you see it has the three different temperatures the one that the pointed one and then also it shows you the coldest temperature along with the warmest temperature and what i like is that you can read it on the bottom now the top down didn't do that you had to just kind of look and if you go back to that video you'll see there was a time where the warmest part was like off to the side off to the right and i couldn't read it but this is telling what it is on the bottom so i already like that a lot i also love the pistol grip uh you know i, I like that i prefer that now also, we see the refresh rate is a lot better than the FLIR. Um, it's not as good as the Top Don, but it is uh, better than the FLIR. And that might have something to do with the uh, phone that it's plugged into, too. So I was using the flagship LG, albeit four years old. Now, this is starting to look a little more valid. Now, from on my end through my phone... This thing keeps changing contrast, but it's not doing that in real life. Okay, so hopefully, there you go. That's how it really looks. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys uh, some things that this can do that I, I wasn't able to really uh, illustrate in the last video. So first off, I have shown you guys that if you point at the wall, and this is a 100-year-old house, you can see the insulation behind the walls. Um, I did show that, but one thing you can use these for is perfect. I see those ads all the time. The look inside your wall. Well, this is all it is. The thermal imager will help you do that. Now, I have a TV right here that I've been meaning to mount to the wall for a long time. 
Uh, I just have never mounted a TV to plaster before. So I paused on that and I'm glad I did because check this out. You can't tell anything from this wall, but if we look at this, look at what the heck is behind that wall is a heat duct. <laughs> I would have drilled right into that probably. Oh my gosh, I would not have known. And that was the thing. It was hard to figure out what was where the studs were on this wall because of the plaster. But look at this. I now see that I have a heat duct right there. And I might just leave the TV just sitting there. It's been fine for the time it's been there. Uh, but, and then also through the plaster, that may be why I can't see where the studs are in this house. Now, modern houses, I can see that. Now, also, let's look at the floor. We can see more heat ducts. And here, check this out. This is through carpet and everything. But you can see the heat ducts that run into the room. Those straight lines. And they're coming right on over here. And one stops. One stops right here right there and then the other continues to go on over right to the register boom so yeah this is very helpful also when you are hanging things on the wall particularly tvs you also see we have another duct as well right there going to the register that you can see on uh, this screen. So I just kind of wanted to walk around a little bit so you guys could check the refresh rate out uh, and see that it does a pretty good job. Um, as for the house, you can kind of see with a hundred year old house now, usually the corners are a little weak in most modern homes, but man, these older homes, sheesh. I mean, it's really solid in this on this floor too to be such an old home. And one more I need to do the stairs because it was that little hot or cold spot, rather. And then we see it right there. It's already caught it right there. Caught it instantly. And it's still very dark. But we can see the studs in the wall. Oh, and it's all shut down. Hold on. Let me press, press something. Okay, no, nope, just turn the way off. All right, well, I guess that's that. All right, we're going to be using the Kai Wheats now. Uh, and we've we filmed this this place before uh, if you notice the refresh rate is a lot better than the FLIR but the image quality is not as good as I would say the FLIR and also the top down but you get a lot more information on screen like I've mentioned before and it still does work quite well so we're gonna run through the house and you can still see the studs behind the wall and we're going to go through with the lights and the lights are on in the house right now. So I was just sitting there. So that's <laughs> That's creepy. I was just sitting there. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. And there's my laptop. Let's measure that. Let's see. Let's put it back in this frame. And let's see if the laptop is the warmest thing. All right. So it's saying at the max 72.3. Coldest thing is in that upper corner. Uh, which is pretty far away as, as well. 66, 68 is what I'm pointing at. Um, but yeah, the image quality is not terrible, but it, it's de it'll definitely get the temperatures like you need. And there's our door. All right, now let's go through with the lights off. And now, if you recall, with the top don, it does better in low light, whereas the FLIR does much better with light. Uh, and it would appear that the Kai Wheats, oh, it's kind of the same. Looks the same to me. It's not a lot of sun outside at all. It's very gloomy. It's been raining. I uh, love the refresh rate on this thing compared to the uh, FLIR. And if we look at this TV, check this out. That TV is is getting is measuring some temperatures there, 69.9. And it has not been turned on in days. But if we there's a whole TV on the wall right now that you can't see because it's cool. I'm pointing right at it. 
you can't even catch the image and it too is plugged in but it is actually off it seems so it seems like that is pulling well this little one is actually still pulling some energy and one of you actually asked me for a video like that so we're going to definitely do that test all right going back to the window and we can see me i don't think we saw me before when the light was on so this probably also does better in low lights now let's go back through the hallway yeah still catching everything and it looks like the kitchen is lit up it's not um but we just got finished cooking in there so it's lit up with heat but it is pitch black in there as well as this hallway as you can see it's really dark there's nothing going on in the kitchen Yeah, and there's the front door again, and here's the kitchen lit up with the kind weeds. Look at that. And as you can see, obviously, it's nothing crazy. And one more I need to do the stairs because it was that little hot or cold spot, rather. And then we see it right there. It's already caught it right there. Caught it instantly. And it's still very dark. But we can see the studs in the wall. While we're here, just a couple of other things I wanted to say that I liked over the FLIR. So when I pull the trigger, which can happen easily, it'll ask you, do you want to store the photo? And you could say, oh, you know, if it was accidental, you could just say no, so it's not taking up extra space. Uh, or just hit yes if you actually want to store it, and it's by default on yes. Uh, and again, like I said, it has a larger screen that gives you more information. It's more intuitive in terms of um, just customization in terms of as a, opposed to the FLIR. Uh, the top down has a lot of customizable features as well. Then it also depends on the uh, item or phone that you have it plugged into. But again, I really don't want to compare the top down too, too much because it's not really an apples to apples comparison. This is more on par with the FLIR and all day I would choose this if you didn't need that image overlay because it's just, it's just way more options on this thing uh, and it costs substantially less. All right, so what do I think about the Kai Wheats KTI W01? I do like it. It doesn't feel as durable, I'd say. It feels more like a toy compared to the FLIR. Uh, it's because it's all plastic with no real, I mean, this is a slight rubber grip. Um, but the FLIR just has more of a premium finish, but th this works very well. Uh, also, like, the buttons are a little clanky. Uh, but it, I'm actually giving it a hard time right now. It, it's still a, a nice device. It feels pretty durable. I mean, I obviously can't speak for the longevity of this thing, but I do love the bigger screen and all the extra uh, functions and features it has and also all the extra readouts on screen you're not going to get that on the top down you're not going to get down the FLIR and this can be had for 285 right now now the FLIR is $500 and the top down pistol grip with the same specs is on sale right now for 375 so you're saving $90 also appreciate this flap right here now what it doesn't have compared to the FLIR is a flashlight uh, the FLIR did have a flashlight which helped it in its low light scenarios but again this does actually quite well in low light i really don't know why the FLIR doesn't but this the top down they do seem to do better in low light it seems so that is it for this review i do like it obviously again i can't speak for the longevity of this but if you guys have any questions you can just ask them in the comments and i will see you guys next time